Hello, TMSS families. It's Mr. Painshow coming to you from the eye of the storm. We're nearing the end of quarter one in our new school year, and with the end of a quarter comes report card time. The Northeast School Division is looking at changing the student recording system, and as such, schools currently do not have the ability to email report cards to our families. Just like students and teachers have had to make changes this school year, we're going to ask families to do the same. Instead of having your child's report card emailed to you, we are asking families to log in to Students Achieve to see your children's marks and to see teacher comments. By logging into Students Achieve, you can see final marks for classes that finished quarter one. You can see current marks for classes that are continuing throughout the rest of this semester. And for those middle year students, you can see current marks for classes that will continue for the rest of this year at some point. Where it gets a little bit tricky is finding in Students Achieve where teacher comments are. So the purpose of this video is to give you some instructions to supplement the paper copy of instructions that will be added to this email. I'm going to show you how to do it now. Follow me. The easiest way to access Students Achieve is through the TMSS website. So once you're on the website, you can go to the Parents tab at the top and then scroll down to Students Achieve and click the link there. The link will take you to this page and simply enter your username and password and log in. If you do not know your username and password, there's a couple of ways you can go about it. You can have your student log in and they can add you as a parent or you can call the school and we can help you out. Either way, we'll make sure that you get into Students Achieve. Once you're into Students Achieve, there's a couple of things I'd like you to be mindful of. First is make sure at the top left that you're in quarter one. Quarter one is our current reporting period and so that will give you the most up-to-date marks. Next, you can browse around the page and select a course for which you're interested in observing. And looking at a course, you're going to see the focus areas at the top, and that will be where your, your uh, grades are. And then below that is the personal and social development analysis. So there are five attributes in our personal and social development uh, analysis at TMSS. Clicking on any one of those five attributes will take you to an area where we can see teacher comments. So I'm going to click the attribute that says attitude contributes to learning and once i click there it takes me to a new page on this page i need to select show hide assessments by selecting that it gives me the assignment that is assigned to the personal and social development marks in this case the assignment is named cumulative psd marks by selecting that it will take me to yet another page where it breaks down further the attributes for the PSD assignment. And then lastly, at the bottom of this page, you're gonna find teacher feedback. So it's a little roundabout way to get there, but I assure you, once you get there once, you'll have no trouble doing it again. There is a little shortcut. At the top of the page, when you're in this assessment, you can select a different course and it will take you directly to the personal and social development of that course. So I will select Math 6 now and that will take me to the personal and social development for math six. And then again, a separate comment for that course by our teachers. Hopefully this helps you out. We do have great print instructions as well. And again, families just call the school whenever you are, are in need of some assistance and we'll do our best to help you.